What's going on, YouTube? So right before we get started, don't forget to click and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And also, if you want to support the channel, I'll leave all the links down in my description to the merch store and also the products that we will be reviewing today. And if you want to check out the behind the scenes, definitely add me on my Instagram because you get to see all the testing live before it gets to YouTube. And also, I do a lot of Q&As on my Instagram. So if you guys are curious on other tests that's not being shown here, you can always ask me on my Instagram. I could do one for you guys. So with all that out the way, let's begin. So the Nikon Z8, most of you guys are probably wondering which CF Express car is best for your Nikon Z8. And by the way, if you guys don't know this already, I read that the Nikon Z9 CF Express car videos. And also, if you guys even care, I did a Canon R3 Civic Express car. Links are down below. Now from those two videos that I did, I eliminated a few cards. And right now we have four of the top best cards on the market. We have the Lexar, we have the Delkin, we have the Prograde, and we also have the Sabre. Now, I was going to use my Sabre that you saw in my Nikon Z9 and R3 video, but uh, I reached out to Sabre to ask if they want to send their Pro card because this is their brand new Pro card. So, they sent this over to me for testing, so I just want to give a shout out to Sabre. Now, let's take a quick glance at the exterior of the cards. As you can see, they have a very similar exterior, and that is the foil around the card to provide protection and heat dissipation. So that is a new standard right now in CF Express car. Now, these four brands do have different store sizes and different pricing. So make sure you know your budget and hopefully in this video i can guide you to which car will fit your need because the nikon z8 is photo and of course it does video and let me tell you guys you will definitely need to know which car to get for your own purpose because everyone is very different some of you guys want to shoot mainly photos some videos some of you guys want to shoot half and half and some of you guys may want to shoot a lot of video and some photos so hopefully in this video i can provide you that information now let's take a look at my first test here is the first test this is the width test this is where i measured the width of the c express car and i'm happy to say that all four brands are under 29.6 millimeters of width and this is really important because when i used it, the nikon z9 with the angelbird card it got stuck in the second slot i did an instagram live video for all my audience here's a sony card pops out just fine here is the angelbird card it just got stuck so what i did was i had to strip it out and I had to do it so many times for it to just pop out on the second slot, which is kind of concerning because if you keep on stripping your card, it's going to fall to pieces. And guess what? If you check on the Amazon reviews and also other camera sites out there, it's actually a wider car and it's actually falling to pieces. So this is why this whiff test is really important. All four brands you see right here don't have that problem. Only Angel Bird cards have that problem so be careful with that card now for the next test all four cars are different store sizes so you are getting different recording times on your ak 24p high quality not the normal quality the high quality here is the recording time on the lexar at 128 it's roughly around six minutes and two seconds here is the prograde at 165 gigs it's roughly around seven minutes and 47 seconds here is the Delkin at 325 gigs. And here is the Sabrent. At one terabyte, it gives you 43 minutes and 51 seconds at high quality. Now, because of the Sabrent, it's, it's recording longer than all the other cards. I was able to get that car into a hot car state at roughly around 34 minutes. Now, with that in mind, let's do our heat test that we normally do on the channel. Here is where I transfer a 113 gig file to each of these CF Express car, and once the file is finished transferring, I will pop it out and do a heat temp, and here is the results. As you can see from all four cars, the Sabrent is the coolest car from the bunch. The Lexar and Progray is about even, and the hottest car from the bunch is the Delkin. Now with this data set, we can come to a conclusion that if you're shooting with the Sabrent, with the Pro Sabrent, and at 34 minutes, it'll give you the hot car warning sign, right? This means from the heating test, this means that the Delkin, the Prograde, and also the Lexar, 
the hot car warning sign will come even sooner than 34 minutes. So keep that in mind. And also if you're shooting a long form video, definitely get yourself an external monitor to alleviate the heat. But I know some of you guys really want to use the Seam Express card to record to be low profile. So I get that too. So there we go. Now for this next test, this is the frames per second test. So here is the Lexar. Here is a Sabrent. Here is the Delkin. And here is the Prograde. Now here is the audio peaks on all four cars. This is a Sabrent. Here's the Lexar. Here's the Delkin. And also here's the Prograde. And also we're at zero seconds and we are looking at three second increments. And we are shooting at one eight thousand of a second, 20 frames per second, raw and JPEG. Now as you can see, the first three seconds is all the same. There's no difference. And if you look at the three seconds to the six seconds, you could, this is three to six seconds right here. You can clearly see that the Sabrent kind of drops off around this part right there. You see the pocket holes getting a little wider. The auto peaks are spreading out. Here's the Lexar. It starts to spread out a little bit, a fraction of the seconds after the Sabrent. Here's all the pocket holes right there. And here's the Delkin. The Delkin gets the pocket holes around right there. It kind of um, starts to buffer a little bit after the Lexar, just by a fraction of seconds. And here is the Pro Gray, and it seems to do very well. There's no huge pocket holes on the Pro Gray, except towards the end. And that's three to six seconds. Here is six seconds to nine seconds, right over here. And as you can see, the Sabrent. There's a big gap right there. That's the buffer right there. But I want to show you guys that that gap, this is six seconds, 6.0 seconds. Uh, this is a seven point, okay. So this is a 1.1 second buffer right there. 1.1 seconds. So keep that in perspective. But after that, it, it shoots crazy fast than the rest of the cards. So there you go. It's, it's, it's a different beast right there from six to nine seconds. There's more peaks than all three um, Lexar, Progray, and Delkin. Now, we look at the uh, Lexar, it seems to actually spread out a bit. Towards the end, doesn't do too well versus the Sabrin, but at the beginning, it did not buffer, but uh, I think they're equal in terms of photos taken. Also, here is the Delkin, and more or less, I believe the Delkin is slightly better than the Lexar, even with towards the end, around towards the end. And here is the Progray. Progray seems to keep going and going and going. Just two small pocket holes and that's basically it. And here is the rest of the audio peaks. So just wrap things up, all four cards comes with their pros and cons, so let's just break it down. Now let's take a look at uh, the Lexar, yes, let's take a look at the Lexar. Now the Lexar comes in at 128 gigs, 256 gigs, and 512. There's no one terabyte just yet, and these cards are quite expensive in my opinion, but uh, in my test, the Lexar card wasn't the hottest card, right? It also wasn't the slowest card from the bunch. Um, this card is a safe card, it's very average, but it's a very popular brand in the photo market. So you know Lexar, you buy Lexar, this is probably the card for you guys. And as for the next card, it's the Delkin. Now, the Delkin was the best card in my Nikon Z9 video, and also it was the best card in my Canon R3 video. But after testing the Delkin versus these three other pro brands, um, it is the hottest card, so if you're doing video, and you have these four choices, know that this is not good for video. This will be hotter than any of these other cars, the Lexar, the Progray, and the Sabrent. In terms of frames per second, I was disappointed, but it is number two. This is number two from the bunch. And if you look at the prices, they are 
quite expensive. I mean, 325 gigs is $425. If you want to get 650 gigs, it's $750. So just keep that in mind. This is for those folks that want, I don't know, actually, if you want a better shooting experience, I would say get the pro grade on this one. But if you want to do video, this is the worst one for video. Wow, this might be, I don't know. This this is kind of last place to me now that I think about it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, um, I'm a big Delkin fan, by the way. I really love Delkin, but in this test, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the pro grade. And as for the pro grade, this actually came from you guys. You guys actually told me to pick up the pro grade and do a test on my Nikon Z9 video because you guys said this is a beast of a car. I didn't believe you guys and I went to pick it up regardless. And yes, this actually is the best performing card when it comes to frames per second, raw and JPEG. I did, I did that test so many times and this always did so well versus the Delkin, the Lexar, and the Sabre. And this is the car. If you are looking for a car that uh, won't let you down when it comes to consistently shooting, ProGrade is probably the car to get. However, the temps on this car is not the best. This is like rank two tied with the Lexar. So with that said, if you're doing mostly photo and you need that performance, definitely get the ProGrade. And also, if you look at the pricing, Yes, pricing is uh, it's expensive. Um, 650 gigs is $770. Um, ProGrade 325 gigs is $450. So this is not a cheap card. It's a very expensive card, so keep that in mind. And last but not least, the Sabre. Now, let's just put this out there. At 200 bucks, you get 512. At 370 bucks, you get one terabyte. And at 600 bucks, you get two terabyte. And by the way, Delkin, ProGrade, Lexar don't even have a one terabyte as of this recording. That is that is pretty crazy. And the price bracket, even if they do have a one terabyte with the Lexar, the Delkin, and also the ProGrade, it won't beat the pricing. Now, with the pricing out the way, most of you guys may not know Sabrent because maybe you guys are Apple users, but for those PC builders out there, you know who you are. They are a pretty big company. The, these guys right here, they make memory, they make storage, they make accessories for PC builders out there. They are very well known in the industry. Now, how did the Sabre do in my test? With the video portion, this card right here was the coolest car from the bunch. That's just crazy. If you're doing a lot of video, then photo, get the Sabre. This is well worth it. Now, when it comes to frames per second, this is tied with the Lexar, in my opinion, because the Lexar audio kind of spreads out, whereas this will give you that 1.1 second buffer, and then it just returns fire like brand new. It, is, it was night and day right after that buffer. It was actually better than the Delkin and the ProGrade and the Lexar after that one second buffer. So just keep that in mind, but you still get that one second, 1.1 second buffer in this card. So this is not the best when it comes to, you know, shooting so many shots just continually shooting shots this is probably for those folks that are kind of in the midway you shoot a lot of shots but you don't need to always hold your shutter down by the way in my test i'm holding the shutter down i'm not letting go and that's about what a um, that's actually a 60 second test so with that in mind if i was just shooting raw actually let me show you the raw if i was just shooting raw with this card look at the performance difference it's just a fraction of a second with this car. If you're just shooting pure raw, that is, that's pretty bonkers, right? And you're shooting JPEGs or even crop. This is a phenomenal car, period. This is for the money, for, for what it's giving you guys, the performance wise, this is phenomenal. And also, by the way, just to make sure I was shooting at 8,000 shutter speed. So if you're shooting even less than that, just the 1.1 second buffer is even less. It's a fraction of a second, so keep that in mind. Now, if someone asks me which car should I get for their Nikon Z8, my answer to them is get the Sabre because of the performance, the storage level, and also the pricing. No one can beat that on the market. No one can beat that. Now, if someone came up to me and asked, which car should I get for only photo? Photo, just photo. And let me say, not just any photo, high performance shooting, right? I would say get the pro grade, but remember, you'll be paying for it. You'll be paying for it. It's not cheap, but they are the best performance car on the market. From all the cars that I test, 
they are the best performing card. Now, if someone asks me, Lee, I should do a lot of video, and maybe one third of the time I do a lot of sporadic sports shooting, walleye shooting, get the Sabrin. Just get the Sabrin. You'll be good to go. But if you own like the Delkin and the Lexar right here, these two cards are no slouch. I own the Delkin. I still use the Delkin. Lexar is no slouch at all, but uh, it just depends on your taste, what you're looking for. So with all that said, thank you guys for checking me back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And also, if you guys are interested in picking up any of these cards, I'll leave the links down below. And so with all that said, take it easy. Peace.